Hi, my name is June Lei. I'm a senior. I'm an art history and English double major, um, and I'm co-president of the Art Society. We are here today partnering with Helm House on World Cyanotype Day. Today we're doing a cyanotype workshop. A cyanotype is a process from 1842, I believe. Um, traditionally, you would put an 8x10 or a 4x5 like film negative on top of a coated piece of paper with cyanotype chemicals, and then you'd print through that and you'd get a positive image where the darks would be blue and the whites would be white. The process is also what was used to make blueprints. So people are gonna come, they're gonna paint on the chemicals with a brush, dry it off with a hair dryer, and then stick it in the sun and put stuff on top of it. You'll get like a silhouette of it, and then we're gonna wash it off and see what it looks like. So three or four years ago, I did a program. I learned um, cyanotype, something called salt printing, zeotype, platinum palladium. There, and I've done that for the past three or four years at this point. Yeah, I wanted to bring it to Bowdoin. When people think of photography, it's like, oh, a disposable camera, or like, oh, a dark room, what's that? Or like, my iPhone takes pictures, right? Um, but this photography like started out completely different. Um, and I don't think many people know about that. I don't think that there are many opportunities to do cyanotype in the world in general outside of like a photography classroom or a dark room because it's not it's not like a commonly used method of printing anymore. So it's pretty exciting and interesting to be able to have the opportunity to do this because it is time consuming and space consuming. But um, I think it's really cool and it's like a very interesting way to learn um, about photography and uh, art. <laughs>